The Deputy Mayor Hangapu Weiko, who stood in for the Mayor Mwethe Kadapua, thanked the participants and said that the event has grown over the years and that next time all schools should be invited to the celebration as it is a good platform through which people can practice their cultures. The President of the Vika Carnival states the significance of the event. It's a German tradition uh, that's been going since 200, 300 years. Because in the old days, uh, if you wanted to voice your opinion, you weren't allowed to do that. The only time you could do that is when you were on the marketplace and you put in a funny cap. Then you were allowed to talk about the king, talk about uh, whoever was in charge. The short ceremony was the start of a spectacular street procession in Independence Avenue where the public joined in the fun. Rhino horns featured on most of the banners on the trucks in support against the pouching of rhinos, which are currently endangered in the wild. A group of girls called the Vika Garda showed off stunning performances as they marched in front of the trucks, carrying the royal couple with sweets being thrown from the truck. Various participants showed off creatively decorated floats that entertained the window residents that lined up the streets. Um, I enjoy the Vika Festival because this happens once a year and, you know, throwing sweets in the street and children's laughter, it's very, very lovely. I am used to it because we come every single year right at, at this place getting sweets. The event was a spectacle, but it was not the end yet as the fun continued afterwards and will do so for the next two weeks. After the street procession, everyone has come here at the SKW Sports Stadium to do some sports activities and relax with their friends and families. I'm Joseph Shifen reporting for the News on One.